How's it going everybody, Illusion Dev here, bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Sons of the Forest on Windows. So to get started, let's go ahead and search up SteamCMD here on Google. We're going to click on the first link. And then we're going to click on Windows here. And then this little one at the end, we're going to click on that, and it's going to download. We'll open the folder, go ahead and minus the browser. And then once we're here, we're going to right click on the compressed folder. We're going to hit extract all. And then extract. And then for me, I'm going to control X on the uh, folder here, not the compressed one, the one that we extracted. I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it servers. And then I'm going to go into that folder. I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to abbreviate Sins of the Forest. And then I'm going to control V for the Steam CMD. Now I need to initialize Steam CMD. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to open up the folder and then I'm going to run the Steam CMD application. Alrighty, now that Steam CMD is initialized, I'm going to go back to the folder here. I'm going to go to the servers folder. And then I'm going to go to the soft file folder. I'm going to click on the path up here and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to the Steam CMD uh, command prompt here. I'm going to do force underscore install underscore DIR for directory. And then I'm going to control V to paste that path. Hit enter. And I'm going to log in as anonymous here. And now I'm going to do app underscore update. And I'm going to do 2465200. And do validate. Now, depending on your internet connection, this will vary on the download speed. Alrighty, now that that is done, we can go ahead and exit this. So you can do that by either typing in the exit or just hitting the X button up top. I like to type in exit, personal preference. Alright, so now we need to get us, we need to generate the config files for the server. So in order to do that, we're going to run the server for the first time. So we're going to do that by hitting start uh, SOTF. This will give us some errors, but don't worry, it's going to ask us to restart once it's done. And then we're going to close it out. Right, we're going to go to close it out. I just realized I named this wrong, but that's okay. We're going to leave it. We're going to open up a new folder here. And I'm going to do local app data. And I need, I need local app. All right, once we're in here, we're going to go to end night, send of the forest DS, and then the owner list. So if you want to add yourself as an owner inside here, all you need is your Steam ID, and you put that in here, and then you hit save. And then every new owner will have their own separate line. That's how you do that. Pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and close that. We're going to open up the config file here and open it up with notepad. Then here we have some basic settings. We have three ports that we're going to need. We'll get to that in just a second. Server name, players, password, local, save slots, all this fun stuff. Uh, we're going to keep this tutorial as uh, short as possible and simple. Probably if you want to change the name, change it to whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to put like a spell. Solution server. Then we're going to save that and then we're going to close it. After we close the file, we can close this folder. All right, now we need to open up the ports in the firewall. So in order to do that, we're going to type in firewall. We're going to click on the advanced security option here. We're going to go to inbound, new rule, port, next, UDP. All these ports are going to be UDP. First one is 8766. So then we'll do comma, space, 27016, comma, space, then 9700, zero, zero. then we're going to hit next, allow connections, next, next, name this whatever you want, and then click finish. And that's it for the firewall. Once that is done, you are ready to start your server. However, if you're going to open up to the public, you will need to open these ports up on your router as well. 
if you're using a rented machine through a third-party company, nine times out of ten, these ports are going to be already open for you, so you don't need to worry about it. And further, just go ahead and set the server. So in our case, the ports are already good to go, so I'm going to go ahead and start the server. All right, so once we get to around this point of the server startup here, uh, you can go ahead and open up Sons of the Forest and look for your server. It's either going to be in dedicated or LAN only, depending on how you decide to run your server. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.